friction. The friction between two surfaces. Friction exists only when the two surfaces are in contact. A rough. There is no friction between smooth surfaces. So in the question, rough and smooth are the very important hints for us to know whether there is friction exists. And the friction must along the contact surface. And for the static friction, it oppose the tendency of the motion or prevent sliding. What does it mean when we consider the diagram below? We will understand more. And the other characteristic of the friction is the magnitude of the friction between two static surfaces. It depends on the tendency of motion. That means it may not be a constant. For the friction between two static surfaces has a maximum value. Usually, we call it the maximum friction or the limiting friction. So then, we will see a few examples to understand this idea. In the figure, you can see that the left one it is at rest, and the maximum friction is thirty newton. But because it is not moving, so the friction is equal to zero. But for the other case, even it is at rest, but there is a force acting towards right, so the friction will be twenty to the left. And for the third case, it's the same. You will find that the friction at rest is equal to the friction that when the motion just starts. For the lower one, when it is rest on the incline plane, you can see that there is a component of weight pulling it down. So there must be a friction exists on the opposite side to keep it at rest. When the motion is just start, actually the force that require. Is also just the same as the weight component. So let's see a few more examples. Here, the examples you can show that the block is remain at rest, and there are two forces acting on it. So we can expect that there must be a friction towards left in order to keep it balanced. And so the friction on the surface. We can consider the F two plus F is equal to the F one, so that we can find the friction is ten. What if the F one is removed? If the F one is removed, the only applied force acting on the block is equal to the F two, which is five n. So in this case, what should be the friction? The friction should be five n also, but towards right. And the net force will be equal to the zero.